I don't say that people are inherently moral. While there is some truth to that statement, what I say is that all rational people understand natural law. No one believes that people will always do the right thing. Uh, it doesn't follow from that, though, that an institution that must necessarily initiate force in order to exist should exist. If it is true that all men are endowed by their creator with it, the inalienable right to liberty, then slavery is illegal, unless it's voluntary. If it's true that it's wrong to initiate force, then slavery is illegal, unless it's voluntary. Uh, for most of history, though, slavery was an institution that existed in some cases because some people believed that some other people were inherently inferior and that the slaveholder had some right over other people and, in some cases, due to the scarcity of food, the slave would sell himself or members of his family in an effort to survive. As technology improves and food becomes less scarce, the poor gain a better position from which to negotiate. Imagine this scenario. In order for four people to survive, three of them must work for something like 12 hours a day, every day, at least 300 days out of every year. You and your wife have two children. It is September and you know for a fact that you have only produced enough food uh, to feed two people through the winter, even if your hunting efforts go exceptionally well. There's a company in the nearest city, uh, which, by the way, is 20 days away from you, uh, that will buy one of your children if you will sell him. In exchange for him, you can get enough food to feed the other child through the winter. As sad as this is, it is life. This is the way it was for most of history. Many people just starved or died from exposure. Now, if you reflect on these facts, you may be able to understand why it is that slavery was not seen as the kind of evil that should be put under any ban by people who consider themselves to be morally sophisticated until relatively recently in history. That before it could be slavery could be seen as something to be forbidden, it, it had to become the case that it was unnecessary something that couldn't happen until food could be produced in such abundance that feeding the poor, all of them, all the ones you come in contact with anyway, all the ones near you in your society, um, is even possible. It has to be the case that you, the society can produce enough food literally to feed everybody. That really wasn't possible until the Industrial Revolution. Now, in the early part of the United States, uh, in the early life of the United States, slaveholding was not necessary. This, by then, we, we had the technology to feed everybody. Um, we could pr produce food in such abundance that uh, it wasn't necessary for anyone to starve. By then, slavery was seen by most people as savage and tyrannical. It had to be protected as an institution by arbitrary laws written by men who consider themselves to be qualified to make law and force others to follow the laws they make. 